And we move on to Nathaniel, who's going to be the subject of our sixth question. Tom Clark's been in touch. He says, best horse in the race via Twitter. Um, anything that can get close to Franco is good enough uh, for me. Of course, he's uh, taking a step back in time, gents, because Nathaniel is um, statistically the closest horse to have got within a whisker of Frankel at all. Um, how important, significant is that? And is Nathaniel a threat first time out over his bare minimum trip? I think that's the, the last part I'd pick up on, Alec, the fact that it is his bare minimum trip because he was last year's King George winner, wasn't he, from workforce over a mile and a half. I think he was a previous second in the Chester's Vaz as well. I would be more concerned about the trip on Saturday. Yeah, first of all, it's true to say that Nathaniel has got closer to Franklin on a race course than pretty much any other horse. Second of all, if you use that sort of collateral form lines as the foundation stone of your punting, you'll be walking around with the holes in your shoes in no time. Nathaniel doesn't need to hark back to that maiden race second to Frankel a couple of years ago now. He's got a very, very impressive CV since, which consists of an impressive King Edward Seventh win on soft ground, mile and a half Royal Ascot last year. More importantly, Betfair King George, when it was a small field and a sad race yeah. for Godolphin with rewilding breaking down badly. Fragmented race with workforce hanging his way across the track. Yeah. But Nathaniel, on the day, was an emphatic winner and he is a hell of a good horse at a mile and a half. His best rating, and we'll touch on those in a little while, comes from the King George. He went to Ascot, back to Ascot, for the champion stakes on that golden day in October, and he wasn't good enough. Yes, he had a widest draw. He tried to kick off the bend, tried to break the field, but he couldn't because he just had very fast, high-quality horses. Pick him up, yellow cap in front. Pick up So You Think in the purple, and pick up Sirius de Zegel, a grey menace on the outside. And there you can see he's going as fast as his legs will carry him at this point, Nathaniel, and he isn't good enough to go and accelerate with So You Think and Sirius de Zegel as they blow by. Further back in the field is twice over. We touched on him earlier. Earlier, well beaten on the day, 10th at the line. But so you think, and Cyrus de Zegler just proved several lengths, two and a half to three lengths better than Nathaniel. The question is, can Nathaniel come back a better horse at four? It's quite possible he can, Gordon. Look at the number of John Gosden's good horses, and he's got loads of them this year, by the way, who've come back this year. Better than ever. Better than ever. There's a list as long as your arm, Gatewood, Joviality, etc. Lots and lots of them. Every chance this horse can do. But if he does come back better than ever, it's highly likely to be better than ever over a mile and a half in the King George in a few weeks' time, which yeah. has to be high on his dance cut. He's well worth his place in this field, his form in the Champion Stakes, and more importantly, the King George last year will tell you that. But I envisage a similar scenario to the one we just saw on VT from Ascot. This horse running really well, trying to draw the sting from some rivals early in the straight, and perhaps being done for acceleration later on. I think he'll run a belter. He's a very, very high-class horse, and it's great to see him back. Yeah, and also a good performance, wasn't it? At a mile and a half in the Chester Vaz, just beaten ahead by Treasure Beach. He got better and better with experience last season, but once he stepped down in trip, he had one or two limitations exposed. So the question is, is he a real crackerjack horse at a mile and a quarter? I think he's a very good one at a mile and a quarter but an even better one at a mile and a half. There you are, the trip is the big question mark, uh, Alec, on Saturday for Nathaniel.